Hey everyone, Ryan here with Avenar Productions, and I'm back from Brickford, Virginia, where I somehow managed to spend over $3,000 on Lego over the weekend. It goes without saying, none of this would be possible without those of you who watch my videos, and also it was incredible to meet a lot of you in person at Brickfair. I probably met like 400 people, I don't know, I didn't really keep count, but there were literally people lining up to meet me, which is pretty cool, like, I, I think that's a really neat thing, so... Yeah, thank you to those who came out and said hi and hopefully enjoyed the convention. But I just wanted to do a haul video today of what I bought at the convention, give you an idea of some videos that are going to be upcoming with some of this stuff. Some of the other stuff I won't be making videos on, so this may be the only time you may see it. But nonetheless, there's a lot of cool stuff here, so let's hop into it. I think it's appropriate to start out with some of the things I got for free, mostly as... Oh, didn't get that for free. I that off to the side. Uh, as gifts. And so we have a battle pack here, first order battle pack. We have a smells like leopard shirt and a brick that says hashtag hauling and balling army, all from Thick and Bricks, who runs the hauling and balling YouTube channel and whatnot. So that is stuff that he gave to me. So a huge thanks to him. Someone else who makes custom minifig stuff, I can't remember his name, gave me this really cool Belle Delphine fig, which I'm going to add to my Belle Delphine custom minifigure. I love the way that looks. So I've got it in that giant uh bag there. Someone else gave me a vitreous ghost. I can't remember his name, but obviously from the Lego movie. We also have a certificate of authenticity and a copy one of one clone commander spoons that someone made. Spoon BB-8. Got a bomb squad trooper body there. It's an exclusive one of one and it does say very cool and it is exclusive. So I mean, none of you guys will ever have that. Uh, I have four Lego movie or actually three Lego movie minifigs and a like series 19 or something pilot figure that I think McKinley uh, was, was winning over on the machines and decided he didn't want. So he just put them on my stuff. And I think that's where those came from because they were never really handed to me. Um, then these three clones here are from Sans. Technically, I gave him the money that he got these with. It was for a video, so you'll see that video. But I guess technically I got them for free, although I really kind of paid for them. So I don't know. I just kind of added them in here. This is from Brick Hive. He gave me a lightsaber collection book, which I think I had seen this before. I don't... I'm positive I don't own one because I think I would know if I owned one. But it looks like a really awesome book, and he said it would be really cool to have on my... Uh, you know, coffee table or whatever. So this will go well with the 20 years of design book. Actually, I don't know where that is, but that is nice. Uh, so yeah, it's just a bunch of lightsabers. Looks, who the hell, what the hell? This, I actually won from a fan. He came up to me, saw my rock, paper, scissors, I guess, in the, the last vlog I had uploaded, and he challenged me to rock, paper, scissors. And I told him, all right, I'll play you for this. And if you win, I'll give you $40. If I win, I get this. And uh, I won. My rock, paper, scissors skills were superior. I think I picked paper both times, and he picked rock both times. I already opened it and built it, and that's why I stuck the bricks on the front. They were a very cool set, nonetheless. Uh, we got this from Oliver. He brought me a Tatooine battle pack, which actually, ironically, just got rid of a lot of, but I'll definitely keep that one. Uh, someone else, I think Zombie, brought me this file first battle pack. So, yeah, that's all the stuff that I got, like, for free. It was really cool that people brought me gifts. You certainly don't have to do that. Uh, but, yeah, nonetheless, some people brought me, like, some cool little things, and that was nice. I appreciate that. We'll get some of the smaller things and poly bags out of the way here. This, I got I think from Classic Plastic Bricks. It was literally $20, and I think it will have a TIE Interceptor and a TIE Fighter in there. I'm not even sure if it's complete, but the pieces look to be in really good nick, so I just bought it because it was really cheap, and like it'd be good to have for display things that I don't mind getting dusty. So yeah, got those. These were like $5 each. This one I know I brought. Actually, I bought one from Brickmania. I don't know where it is. So this is a different one, actually. Wait, where's the Brickmania one? Let's find it. So these I bought from the Brickmania store, and for the people that are going to comment, it's just a box later when I get to the gunship. I give a crap about packaging, and there's a reason LEGO puts things in packaging, and there's a reason some LEGO stores literally don't sell damaged boxes, but that's besides the point right now. The Vulture Droid had two different types of packaging. You have this poly bag that has a lot of excess space on the top, obviously, and the clear bits on the bottom and everything. You can see through them in the back, and this one, you can't, and I like the variants of stuff like that, so I uh, have both now sealed in packages, so that's kind of a neat thing. It's kind of like a small box, but it's obviously just a bag, so yeah, like those very much. They were cheap, and then we had the ARC-170 Starfighter. This was five or ten. This was like five, probably five. This was five or ten. Like cheap poly bags. I don't even remember what I paid. Uh, then we had a Scout Trooper I bought for I think forty, and then a Gene Ocean for twenty or so. Love those old Gene Oceans, and obviously the uh, Clone Scout Trooper there. I got a Galador from JB. We got Nick Bluetooth for I think ten dollars. Really cheap. Just something to have if you don't know what Galador is don't bother. Uh, we also have some Clonomy Customs. Now, while Tyler from CAC wasn't actually there, unfortunately, I was real disappointed because I wanted to buy a lot of things from them. 
There was another store that ended up having some. I bought these on Sunday afternoon when some fans came up to me and they were like, hey, they I'd met them earlier at like the gunship uh, reveal or sale at the Lego store. And they're like, hey, we found some culinary customs. I'm like, I'm coming with you guys. You guys know where the good stuff is. So they took me over and they uh, helped me like figure out what was good to buy. So I got a couple more Galactic Marines. I got a uh, Commander Bakara. I got a Shock Trooper and then Sergeant Hound and Commander Doom. So I ended up with, I think, six more Clonomy Customs. So I'm starting to get into collecting these. If I collect more custom clones, I think Clonomy Customs is where I'm going to going to be buying most of my stuff because I like what they do. Um, speaking of custom figures, I did get some from Citizen Brick. These are the only ones I bought from them and they are bowling buddies. And if you don't know, this is the big Lebowski, AKA the dude. I gotta rewatch the movie now. I just watched it for the first time a month or two ago. It is spectacular. I'm so happy I have these. These I think for 75 bucks for, for five custom minifigs, I think is, is more than fair there. So like those, uh, these are from Eclipse Graphics. I don't know if I'm gonna make a video on these yet or not, but they were like three or $4 each, but obviously with so many, they were like 50 They're basically the hologram things and they look amazing then i have this that i bought for five dollars just one of those toys r us bricks always nice to add those to the collection and then i got a couple of these that noah or h2 brick bought for me for 25 bucks each i think at uh at a layout convention in texas and then brought for me so i ended up picking them up at brick fair and completing that collection of mini landers our next batch of stuff is kind of mid-range stuff so i got a lion head and some shot up lego from a video we did no idea when that video will be out but that's just some of the stuff I've left over. I saw the Ahsoka over here. I didn't want to show her up close because there's some cool stuff about her that I'm just going to save for the video. I got this as part of a trade with my friend Pat. It was bundled in uh, with a much bigger set we'll get to. But yeah, this completes my 2008 keychain collection. Very cool. I did get some small box battle pack sets. I think they were both 40 each. I don't have a, there wasn't a price on this one. I don't remember. It was 40 or 50. Um, and then this one was definitely 40, obviously. Small boxes are my specialty. We also have the Republic Fighter Tank. I bought this from Micah for 70 bucks. Thought that was a pretty fair price for what they're worth now. He had two for 70. I probably should have bought them both for the army. Anyway, we got the Bro Thor's new Asgard house for 30 bucks. The Lego store, love that one. I'll be doing a review on it. Also be doing a review on the Space Shuttle Adventure set. Liked this one, obviously got the Space Shuttle earlier in the year. So I'll probably do a video on that too. We have some Power Miners. This one I bought for $40 from The Brick Show, which I think was a pretty fair deal. I didn't look up the price of the thing. I have no idea if it's worth that. I just never bothered. But 40 sounded fair to me. It was sealed, and I finally got to meet The the Brick Show, obviously, and talk to them. And, and uh, you know, everything's good there now for people that were ever worried about that. Everything's smoothed out, so I'm very happy to have finally met them and, and talked to them. Now, we also have another Power Miner set, the Mind Mech, for 35 bucks. Good price, I think. I don't know. I just saw Power Miners, and I'm like... Nice, <laughs> buying those. Um, Toy Story, I always, I always like this Toy Story set a lot, so $40 was, was good for me. $25 on the Assassin's Creed Battle Pack. Can't be a 2009 Battle Pack for 25 bucks. Could maybe have a Chrome Fader? Maybe not, who's to say? I actually should weigh this versus, oh my goodness, I'm gonna weigh it. All right, then we have the, I'm gonna do that later. Uh, we have the two-in-one Super Pack. I've been starting to collect those now because I feel like they technically count as different sets, especially when they have a different set number and it's completely different packaging. So yeah, my collecting is going down the drain there. And then a couple ideas, Sailboat Adventures. Now you're probably wondering, what's that brown box over there? Let's bring that over here and show you what it is. Ooh, I forgot about this thing in here. Uh, this is one of those things I got for free. There was a lady who was selling a bunch of stuff and had this and she was like, oh no, that's free. I'm just giving it to someone who loves it. And I'm like, I love it, <laughs> and so she gave it to me. It was very nice of her. Um, I think I ended up buying something from from her the next day. I don't remember what it was. It was one of these sets, probably. I just don't recall. But still, a very cool shop at home catalog. Obviously, just the best here. And uh, yeah, I just man, I love this one. It's very big too. It's much bigger than the other shop at home catalogs. So, so incredibly happy with that whole thing there. Then what is this? Oh, this was something, I think Claire or Sands ended up folding this in half, but uh, Jordy uh, brought me this. It's basically my starter pack, Gunship Gang, Favre's Bell Pack. Eh, good enough. And then 380, it's crazy when you see it right now like that. That's a lot of subscribers. Sheesh. But yeah, a very cool little piece of fan art from him. Um, but then also in here, we have a Lego brand store. What is this? This is like a store display that they would put in like the Lego stores, like in the like... I don't know how to say it, the shadow boxes, like kind of at the mid-level or eye level of kids, or you know what I'm talking about, where they put little display sets and everything. But this is like the instructions for it printed out. And this is how it would be shipped to the store. Now the pieces, I think are brand new. I don't think this was ever built. Um, I was talking to the guy who was selling it. Um, but obviously some of the bags have ruptured. Like this bag is like brand new as it would have come, I guess, from the, the factory. So that's really neat. 
Um, other bags still sealed in there, but obviously a very big thing. And it was only $100 or maybe it was 120, but like even just for the brick, it's probably worth that money, let alone being a super rare item. I looked up the number on BrickLink, doesn't exist. Nobody's ever like posted about one or anything. I have no idea what year this is from. Maybe there's a sticker on the side. Yeah, 2013. Bought it for hundred bucks. I have no idea what it's actually worth. I mean, there's probably not like any exclusive bricks or anything in there, but just the idea of like having the thing as it were is pretty cool. Although I don't know why I really bought this. Like I'm not gonna do anything with it. I don't have anywhere to put it. It was just so cheap. And it's one of those things, the Lego collector, when you like a thing, as much as some people think I hate Lego, I like the product a lot, the company, different deal. Um, but like, mm, this is a cool thing to have, but I, uh, I really don't know why I bought it. It was like one of the, it was too cheap. If it was like 500, I wouldn't bought it, but it was a hundred dollars. And I was like, you, like, why would you pass that up? We'll do two parts of big stuff. So we'll start out with the trade here, which was the Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. I traded this to Pat. He got about $300 value of stuff. And of course this set's worth about $300. So it was a very fair trade. Of course, Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter said I already have, but this is going to be a pristine one for when I eventually, you know, glass shelves and all that. So very excited. Didn't pay anything for that technically, but obviously traded away some stuff. Then we have the Crab Crusher, which is an Aqua Raider set from 2007. It's a theme that I'm eventually going to collect all of, much like Batman and Indiana Jones and Power Miners and do videos with. And I, I'm not going to do any videos with that sort of stuff until I have all of it and can do like, you know, a month of like Aqua Raiders, well, Aqua Raiders seven sets. I'd probably just split it up and do one video a week or something like that with a finale, like eight weeks in of like all the sets together. And was the theme good or bad and all that stuff and where could it come back? I don't know, just ideas. Um, looks like there's some facts and stuff in the boxes that could kind of neat and different. Um, but yeah, on the back of the box shows all the sets bar the Toys R Us exclusive set, I think was like a shipwreck thing, but nonetheless, a very cool theme that I liked. It's from when I was about 10 or 11 years old back in 2007. Very nostalgic. Then we have the Backcopter Chase for Scarecrow, which I think was 285. Then it was plus tax. And, uh, yeah, so they had like a sticky note covering this up, so I did not realize the box looked like that. I guess when I review it, I'll just Photoshop that and make it look better, but nonetheless, a sealed Batman set for, a, it was a fair price, 285 was, kind of weird animated Batman and Scarecrow on the top. I'll get all these original Batman sets eventually. Um, I am not in any rush. These are expensive as hell, so yeah, this is going to be a, a small or slow collect there. Now, the Sandcrawler box is spectacular. It does have a crease here, and it's got a crease on the back. The guy I bought it from uh, is a collector that lives in Virginia. He goes to Brick Fair, and he uh, he collects, he's trying to collect every sealed Lego Star Wars set, which is really cool. It's something that I would aspire to do, but obviously, I generally, to make videos, need to open them, and I, I probably can't afford, nor do I have certainly the space to both have an open version and a sealed version, but he uh, doesn't keep a lot of open stuff on hand, so his, like, goal right now is to get every Everything sealed. I think he said he has like 60% or something like that, but you know, he'll get something shipped in and if it's got a crease, he's very particular about the boxes even more so than I am. And uh, so the crease obviously not good for someone that's trying to get perfect sealed boxes. So yeah, nonetheless, I uh, ended up getting this for $400, which was super fair. I also bought these two Black Series from him for $50. Thought it'd be cool to have both versions of the Sith Trooper, although the version inside is not different, the boxes just are. And then I got three Black Series at a store in the mall here, so these look spectacular. I'll put a picture of his Black Series on the screen. That's kind of what I think I'm gonna go for now. It looks so good, what he has going on. I think it's Brickingham28 on Instagram if you guys wanna drop him a follow. Anyway, let's get on to our final batch of stuff for the haul video. We'll get to the gunship in a second, but I almost forgot I got this Harry Potter book for like literally $5. It's still got the figure in there. It's like brand new. So this is something I've been meaning to buy. It's the old visual dictionary. I'm sure they'll make a new one very soon. I mean, it's Harry Potter and they've done a lot of new sets now. So it's definitely due for an update there. We'll put that down there. We got a few sets up here. This one I got for 300. It's literally worth like 420. But the only reason I got it for so cheap for 300 uh, and really the only reason that made me buy is my buddy Sean won this set for free and he wanted to sell it. And he's like, I'll sell it to you for 300. And I'm like, I mean, you're offering me a deal I can't refuse. I mean, I would probably never get it cheaper than that. And Winter Village sets are something I want to collect everything of. I've been collecting them for the last few years. I just haven't started to go through the backlog of them. And now I have begun here. So huge shout out to my buddy, Sean, for giving me a steal on this. I mean, he made $300 pure profit, but uh, I saved 120. So I think we both won that one. And again, thank you so much to him for, for really hooking me up with this. I'm really ecstatic about having another Winter Village set for the collection. But we got a couple more big sets up here. Off to the left, we have the Mercedes-Benz Zetros Trial Truck 4x4. And the reason I bought this 
is because it's it's a new set that just came out August 1st, it was 300 bucks, and uh, I'm gonna do a video with it eventually. It's gonna be a while before I can get to building. I gotta build the gunship, got other things I wanna build, but this set they have a picture of that's like showing it on a skateboard at a 45 degree angle and i just don't believe that it can do that so i'm like i'm not going to sit here and like say that it can't without testing it so i bought it so i can do a video about that and like a, a pseudo review but just kind of a different style with a different slant on it so yeah we'll get to that uh in the future maybe in a month or two and then finally here before the gunship for 380 dollars on the very low end of market value you'd be lucky to find it cheaper than this uh the ucs x-wing starfighter sealed in box now i already have another one this is just like the sandcrawler ob1 starfighter i've been rebuying things sealed um and i'll eventually either sell stuff like that um i'll th do it through my mnr sales instagram if you already follow that um not anytime soon so don't like ask about it i don't know when it'll just pop up on there when i'm ready probably when i move but uh, yeah this is to have sealed to have open and do videos on but keep completely dust free because obviously these have been out in the elements for a few years now and uh gonna gonna start to deteriorate and i don't want to have that as my collection i'm just kind of refreshing or revamping my collection in that way i've been uh pretty good about that recently so i'm very excited to have those but uh yeah those will go into storage for a little while i think but let's get to the main event the ucs gunship this one uh obviously a bit of controversy surrounding it let's get it out of the bag found this in the gunship box forgot i had this the uh it's a target we had made for the video as well where pat myself sans jb and michael all shot it and then we kind of wrote on the back so yeah there you'll see four holes uh because i think someone doubled up on a hole i think sans and michael doubled up on the same hole probably why it's bigger too so yeah just a really cool piece to have as a memento from that video as well but alas, we get to the most disappointing thing for a myriad of reasons. And it's also really exciting because like, I love the gunship. I mean, I had plenty of people comment, oh, you say you don't like it, so why'd you buy it? Dude, I voted for it, I wanted it, I had to have it. I buy every Star Wars set anyway, love or hate, uh, to make content with, do a review on, tell people about it, what I think about it. Why I bought it is pretty obvious. It's because I like the ship, I wanna do a video on it. I don't like the minifigs, that's, that's a, issue but we'll touch on that in the review um unfortunately my box looks like this and uh there's no getting around that that's uh that's a problem and if your comment starts with it's just and ends with a box don't bother commenting i'm just gonna block you i obviously care about my boxes I have kept my boxes ever since, I don't know, like 2005 or 2006. I have pretty much all of the ones that I've ever had that aren't duplicates. And so if you don't care about your boxes, that's awesome, man. I'm glad you don't care. That's great, perfect, throw them away, save the space. But I care. That's the fact of the matter. I care. I also use it for videos. And I got a lot of flack for caring about my box condition back when Lego sent me the Harry Potter sets uh, for free in the summer of 2020 and they were completely destroyed. And so now that I paid $350, can I complain about them now? I, I feel like I should be able to. I feel like I have paid for a product and I have got not gotten what I was supposed to get. Um, some nice dents, which are another issue. Some people wanted to know if I taped it or if I did the hole in the box. No. Um, so, so the way it worked was everyone's waiting in line. And uh, as you came into the store, you got in the, the store line. If you had the piece to get the gunship, you got the gunship. Uh, so you'd go up and they would already have the gunship in this bag, just like I just did. And uh, so they handed me the bag. I don't really think twice to look at the box because like, have you ever seen this before? No, you haven't, because I'm the only person that will probably ever happen to. They, for a long time, I think, literally didn't sell damaged boxes in the Orlando store. Um, or if they do, um, at some of the smaller mall stores, I know they have big sections of damaged boxes at, like, the Georgia store. If you've seen some vlogs I've done, I might have shown it off. Um, they'll have, like, a table dedicated to it, and they give you 10 or 20% off or whatever. They didn't give me a discount. So I'm going to contact their customer service. I want a new box. I mean, like I care about my boxes. I mean, this matters to me. I want it fixed. I had some suggestions of like, why didn't you just trade the box in? So, I mean, here's my, here's my thought process. One, they gave me the box. I walked out of the store with it. I mean, it's mine now, right? Like it's my box. And if they're going to give it to me, I'll take it and I'll make a video about it because that's bull, bull crap. And let alone myself getting that. Nobody should be getting that. And other people are like, oh, why don't you just trade the box in for a better one? And I, I suppose I certainly could have asked and I doubt they would have said no, but like then someone else is going to end up with that box because there's only 41 on the day of release at that store. And there were like 200 plus people in line. So like, that's not really fair to, to someone else. So 
why not give it to me so I can complain about it on the internet and then have people get mad at me on Reddit for caring about something I paid $350 for. I mean, this to me was just insult to ant. I mean, this is like the like every step of the way with the gun show. I mean, those of you who follow the channel know how much I cared about this and how much stuff I did to try and help get the gun ship made and how excited I was that it got that. Like you've seen the videos, I'm sure. Um, and uh, man, I, I mean, every step of the way Lego has, in my opinion, just completely disregarded how much I've cared and tried and given a crap about their product and... This is just like, like of all the people to get the box with the hole in it, man. If this wasn't my job, I would have quit. I would have, I wish I could. I don't think I can. So yeah, um, that's the gunship. It's really cool. The minifigs suck. What can you do? Anyway, that's the somber note to end the haul on. It was really cool. Like I said, meeting so many people. I mean, I, I, I it was like 400 people or something. I, I sent, I spent all day, like both days with people lined up saying hi to me. I was signing file first battle packs. I gave out all of those battle pack instructions. I said I was going to give out those were gone in like two or three hours, like a hundred of them. Um, so that was incredible. Just people that wanted them. I didn't give them to like everyone. Cause some people had brought battle pack boxes to sign and whatever other things. I was just like, Hey, you want instructions if you didn't have anything? And a lot of people said, yes and those disappeared like before halfway done on the first day of brick fair so it was pretty incredible and i'm just really sad that like because this is something i care about uh this kind of put a, a sour taste well a lot of things have put a sour taste in my mouth about this set and the way lego has handled it especially uh for me personally and uh yeah what a great way to end that so bye everyone thanks for watching love y'all see you next brick fair or chicago yeah yeah deuces